are looking for family friendly th things to do this spring. Fox 61 has answers for you. Yeah, and, yeah. and uh, we also, as parents, need more sleep, don't we? <laughs> yes, it helps the diction. <laughs> uh, this morning, Keith McGilvery is in Manchester, and uh, he's there checking out the Let's Children's Museum, home of Chuckles, yep. that Connecticut famous groundhog. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that's not Whoa. Chuckles. Margo is nowhere near that. Aye, aye, aye. <laughs> yeah. Audrey and Tim, home of Chuckles indeed, but meet Kane, my new friend, a red-tailed boa constrictor. He is awesome, and you're right, Margo wanted nothing to do with the reptile room, so I'm handling this one on my own. Couldn't do it without the great help of Lauren Pryor, the educational director here. This is awesome. Yeah. Tell me about Kane. Uh, so as you said, he's a red-tailed boa constrictor, but he's not a wild snake. So he is a domesticated snake that you could get from a breeder or even from a reputable pet store. Um, he is a non-venomous snake, so... That's making me feel a little bit better. <laughs> I mean, he's got a mouth. Um, how else could he eat if he didn't have a my mouth? But I... even if he did strike you wouldn't have to worry. He'd be like, oh, you're a person. I'm not going to eat you. And then he'd let go. <laughs> Let's meet some of, other, some of his other friends here. We have a blue-tongued skink. I don't even know what that is in the bottom here, this bottom shelf. <laughs> Who's that guy? He is a lizard, and they are actually native to Australia. But a little thing that people usually don't know is we do have a type of skink in Connecticut. They're called the five-line skink, and they, uh, they can be found in forests. And then we have an iguana over here, this giant green iguana. He's taking a nap. Who's this guy? That is Izzy. She's actually a female. She's kind of our... Uh, a sight to see. Usually kids come right up to her and they're so excited. She'll crawl all around. We take her out and let her get her exercise. Um, free roaming so the kids can uh, sit with her, supervised of course, um, and of course pet her. We have been here all morning. This place, all hands-on, all educational. Kids over the age of one getting in for seven bucks. What do you want them to experience as they meet Kane and some of our other friends? Well, we specialize Hi. in first experiences. So a lot of the times, kids might be nervous about meeting a snake. So it's just getting them comfortable. We offer, you know, if they don't want to touch it, well, that's okay. Let's point out something we can learn about them. Or if they do want to pet them, well, we can absolutely pet them together. All right. You are a rock star. So much more from Lutz as we continue this morning. You have a CT spring bucket list idea. Download our free Fox 61 News app. Let us know where you think we should go. Kane ate two weeks ago, so have no fear on that front. And Margo will be back as long as I put this guy away <laughs> in our 9 o'clock hour at the Lutz Children's Museum. Keith McGilvery. Fox 61 News. Oh, Mar Margo is now probably on the other end of Vernon She's and like, still running in the I opposite direction. I evacuate the dance floor. I, despite <laughs> all the disclaimers, I still think that Keith is a brave man. Nice work out there. Good for you, Keith.